The problem of acute malnutrition and childhood wasting is an increasing global public health problem and one of the main challenges of our time. In March 2020, several UN agencies launched a global action plan to address child wasting, the most common form of acute malnutrition. As part of a study by Tufts University on this issue, we interviewed 25 nutrition professionals and other technical specialists. All of them identified regions they knew to be affected by persistently high rates of acute malnutrition. In Africa, many of these regions were in the Sahel and East Africa. And this map highlights the countries that were identified most often by our interviewees. When we look at a map of the dryland regions of Africa, we can see that many of the regions suffering persistently high rates of malnutrition are in fact dryland regions stretching across the Sahel and East Africa and including parts of Southern Africa. Our study found emergency rates of malnutrition even in places where there was no obvious emergency and where organisations have been providing nutrition services for a long time. So why are so many children in Africa's dry land still malnourished? All of the professionals we spoke to argued that we need to better understand the drivers of persistent acute malnutrition before we can solve the problem. Without this understanding, we are unable to properly plan effective and sustainable approaches for addressing acute malnutrition. There is wide agreement about the immediate and underlying causes of malnutrition that directly affect children and operate within households and communities. The immediate causes relate to inadequate dietary intake and disease, while the underlying causes relate to insufficient household food security, an inadequate social and care environment, and insufficient health services and an unhealthy environment. However, we still don't have a common understanding of the basic drivers of malnutrition. Our own research, combined with the recent study we have conducted in collaboration with FAO, has revealed important new insights and evidence on the relationship between acute malnutrition, conflict and environmental factors. This work has also demonstrated the extreme seasonality of wasting in Chad, Sudan and South Sudan. These findings challenge the widely held assumption that peak malnutrition coincides with the hunger gap. In this figure, the first peak in wasting occurs at the end of the hot dry season and beginning of the rains while a second smaller peak occurs at the end of the rainy season. Building on this research, Tufts University have recently produced a new report, Nutrition in Africa's Drylands, a conceptual framework for addressing acute malnutrition. This proposes an adapted framework specific to Africa's drylands. The adapted framework preserves the immediate and underlying drivers of acute malnutrition and recognises the synergism between them. It also reconceptualises the basic, more systemic drivers of acute malnutrition, which include three interlinked areas – environment and seasonality, systems and institutions, and livelihood systems. Business as usual, with a limited toolbox of expensive emergency interventions, is not enough. We urgently need new analysis and new approaches to make headway on the problem of persistent acute malnutrition among children in Africa's drylands. Tufts University and FAO are co-hosting this technical series to review the basic drivers of malnutrition and to discuss the adapted conceptual framework for addressing acute malnutrition in Africa's drylands. 20 expert panellists and moderators from civil society, government, UN agencies and academics will share new evidence and present expert and regional perspectives. 
join us for this series of four online panel events.